Joining us now is David DeMant. He teaches North American Relations at the University of Ottawa. Sir, what do you make of this meeting? Uh, are we making too big a deal of this? Is this just a photo op? Is there going to be something substantive come out of this? Well, Dan, um, it's, it's a regular sort of scheduled meeting. We had Obama here in Ottawa earlier this year. What a contrast between the, the pomp and circumstance of that visit and, uh, and Harper sliding in uh, with the deputy chief of protocol at the White House. It, it tells a, a lot of the story, right, the contrast right there, I think. Mm -hmm. What would you think, if the two leaders sit down and have an honest conversation with one another, what would be the contentious issues? Where would they differ? Well, it... It's for sure, as, as Joy was uh, just saying in your piece, uh, that the Buy America provision is huge. Um, it's for sure Canada and the government of Canada don't want to get into a trade war with the United States. They want to work with Congress, and that's why there's so many meetings with Congress, social events, and then more formal meetings tomorrow. Uh, that's where they have to work on moving that through. Obama has so many credits tied up on moving through his huge agenda, especially on health care. So he, in a way, uh, Harper's got to go and do his own heavy lifting in Congress. He can't expect uh, that Obama will be very able to use many of his credits uh, to move this issue through on behalf of Canada, though Obama is obviously supportive of a good trading relationship between the two countries. And then there's Afghanistan, and by appearances, Canadians are tiring of Afghanistan before the Americans, for whom it really wasn't on their radar for the longest time because they had a rock to think about. Is Obama going to make some kind of an effort to get Stephen Harper to change our minds about our combat mission in that country? Well, that is another tricky one and also involves Congress, um, whereas... Uh, Obama is, is looking uh, f fully to get the support of, of Democrats to get through um, Congress whatever uh, emerges on health care. Um, on Afghanistan, it's the Republicans who are more supportive of, uh, in effect, a troop surge in Afghanistan. And naturally, Obama doesn't want to be left out uh, and, and, and not have other allies, um, you know, uh, continuing to be committed. But we have had a long, hard slog there. And, the Canadian public is, you know, perhaps understandably saying, how long does this go on and does this make sense for our country? Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that's been happening lately that, that has tweaked the noses of a lot of Canadians is the debate over health care in the United States. And, you know, we've been held up as, as the worst possible way to have health care. And that offends a lot of Canadians. And some people are saying that our Prime Minister, while he's in the United States, should be defending Canadian health care. Is that a legitimate well, I, I thing to do, or, or is he meddling in their domestic affairs? Well, I was pretty shocked when Obama gave his speech to Congress la last week about health care and put c the Canadian model at one end of the spectrum and then a completely private free-for-all model at, at, the, at the other and saying, hey, I want something in between. Um, but it is probably wise for um, Canadian politicians not to weigh in on that one. Um, partly, we wouldn't uh, appreciate uh, Americans weighing in on, on an intense uh, domestic debate in this country, and perhaps it's similar for a Canadian to weigh in on their debate. Now, we don't know for a fact, but there's the possibility of a fall election in this country. Uh, is this a good photo op for the Prime Minister before a possible campaign? Yeah, I mean, it's got to be a good photo op. Um, a little bit surprised that, that he's not making more of it uh, with more pomp and circumstance. Um, it, it, this will be a, a strength for Ignatiev um, with his close relations um, with members of, uh, of Obama's team. They've both uh, been involved at Harvard and uh, a really easy fit for Ignatiev. But that's eclipsed right now um, with, with Harper's meeting. Uh, you know, the cabinet ministers for um, public security, for foreign affairs, for the environment are accompanying the prime minister. What kind of a role are they going to play? Are they meeting up with their uh, counterparts in the States? Yeah, and I think in Congress they, it's going to help with the full court press to, uh, in the leadership figures in Congress on the Buy American. Um, he's going to want uh, people around him um, uh, to help press that case. I'm a little surprised I don't see Gary Dewar in these pictures. I would have thought that this would be an opportunity to introduce him to the big players in the States. Maybe, in fact, they'll do that later today and tomorrow in Congress. Mm. He has not been confirmed yet, right? Not confirmed, but still you could, you could introduce him as ambassador designate and, and uh, start making those links. Uh, what a wonderful way to introduce uh, 
uh, what is certain to be our, our next ambassador. Mind you, he's not been, um, you know, gone through the approval process in the States, and it, it might be in, in the diplomacy of it all inappropriate, but just to have the opportunity to shake hands and make that connection with the people he's going to work with through these uh, today and tomorrow would, would uh, have its benefits. David Demand specializes in North American relations at the University of Ottawa. Thanks for your time, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dan.